Marvel Legends Infinity Saga, Iron Man, Mark 46, Toy Review, and Unboxing. I'm Joel, and this is Talking Toys. Today, we are flying into the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Hasbro's Marvel Legends Iron Man, Mark 46, from Captain America Civil War. Are you ready? Yup! We'll take a look at the box here and as you can see we have a clear front window which gives us a view of iron man and tony's head as well as a couple of hands we have the captain america logo for civil war and the legends logo uh, as you can see there's a close-up of tony's head two hands it comes with and as well as two retro blasters just barely behind the infinity saga logo we also have the iron man mark 46 and the avengers logo on the side of the package here we have the the same design as we have a have had on the other Infinity Saga figures of yellow, pink, and blue, uh, with a cast of heroes on both sides. Infinity Saga logo on either side there. And it still looks really good. I like this the side of this box art. And of course, they have the uh, Avengers logo. On the back, we have the Civil War poster. And then we have a bio on Tony Stark himself that gives you a little bit more insight into who he is. Standing at a whopping six inches, Iron Man comes out looking really beautiful with the great gold paint, red paint that just appears metallic, and then a lot of silver to accent that detail. I love the silver because it makes it almost look like the armor's unfinished, but don't let that fool you. This armor is fully operational. As far as articulation goes, you can see we can get a full 360 on his head there. We can also get him to look up just a little bit though. The helmet kind of blocks that and just barely down. We get a little bit of side to side, not much. And of course, we can only bring his arms up this far. As you can see, the shoulder pad actually blocks it from moving up any higher than that. You can get a full 360 on the shoulder here. And if you bring up the arm a little bit, you can clearly see we've got a bicep swivel for a full 360. We've also got a double jointed pinned elbow. And then of course, we have a full swivel 360 on the wrist. And the wrist has horizontal bends. So both ha all hands have horizontal bend, but you can see this one has a horizontal bend. It goes back and forth like so. As far as torso, you can see that the upper torso there can do a full 360. We can also bend him forward just a little bit and then bend him back just a little bit. Uh, move the arm so you can see better. And of course, he has no waist, so he can't turn at the waist. And he can do the splits about that far. We can bring up his leg that far. And then we can bring it back just about that far and then of course we have a, a leg swivel trying to get a full 360 on that which you can do i had to go around the other way to do it though so he has a double jointed knee that are pinned so it looks pretty good and then he can get a little bit of side to side on the ankle and just a touch down so the armor is really preventing a lot of movement in the ankle there so just a little bit down just a little bit up not much to go on now, he does come with two of these blue blasters or arc blasters, and they plug not only into the hand here. We'll get that open up here. There's a little port in the hand, and it looks like that when it's plugged in. And then we take that out and then take a closer look at his feet here. You'll see we have two ports, and it'll plug in just like this. So you can have another form or another way of looking at him flying with the jets kind of shooting out his feet there. Now, you can change out his hands. He has comes with two fists. We just pull one off, and then we just plug the other one in, just like so. Uh, the wrist, again, you do a full 360. You can fold in a horizontal bend on the fist there, so you can see a little better. And then it comes out just a little bit like so. And you can see that just a little bit better there. Now, we can also switch out the head. So you just pop it off the ball joint like so. And then we bring in Tony's head here. And it fits on just like this, which I think is a really good rendition of Robert Downey Jr. We get a close-up of his head here, and you can see they put a lot of attention and detail into the head itself. I mean, from the goatee to the kind of beard, really, to the color of his hair, and just kind of trying to match it up to Robert Downey Jr. as much as possible. Looks really good overall. Uh, I think that some of this technology they're using to capture the faces have been top-notch. So many things that this thing has done right as far as capturing the look of Mark 46 and actually making it look like it was from Civil War. The thing that it doesn't do is actually allow for articulation for better posing. It's like any of the armor sets themselves. 
are designed not to allow a great deal of posing. Although, that being said, I do like the figure. I like being able to, to at least display this figure. So with that said, I think this is a good figure. It's just not the best figure. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this review, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys, signing off.